Hello, hello! Hey everybody and welcome to this video. Today Gibbo Ireland is going to be having a look at a program called Touch Portal. Basically it allows you to use a tablet or a phone and it'll allow you to control a whole load of things within the sim. Anything from your autopilot, you know, your lights, switches, tons of stuff. Uh, so we're going to jump over to Gibbo. He's going to talk a little bit about it, give you guys an idea. Uh, and if you like this sort of content, be sure to smash it the thumbs up at button. Uh, well, it kind of lets us know you like this sort of content. So I'll see you after this. How you doing, everybody? Gibbo Ireland here again. Hope this video finds you well. And I'm going to show you a cool tool. And all you need is a device, your phone, tablet, it'll work. It's called Touch Portal. And here it is on my screen. And what you can see, if we take you through the interface here, is straight away I can see a lot more functionality than you know those two devices uh, will give me. I can see my heading, altitude, my airspeed, vertical speed, ground speed, right there. Pretty cool. Now if I look at it compared to uh, the cockpit, it's spot on. On the left hand side, I've got autopilot settings. In the middle, I've got my autopilot panel. This section in the middle will change based on what panel I actually want to bring up. I'll show you that in a moment. On the right hand side, I've got my trims. I've got my sim rate. The bottom, I can see what's going on as far as battery, alternator, my gear settings, parking brake, uh, really, really cool. And then at the bottom, I've got panels and I've got my lights. So let's actually play with the lights to start with. So I'll zoom in here on my lights in the cockpit and I can see my taxi light isn't on. So I'm gonna press taxi on my iPad here. Awesome. Landing, maybe turn that off. And the taxi, turn that off. Very cool. The main area of the app actually here is in panels. So if I choose autopilot, it's on autopilot at the moment, and you can see above that I've got an autopilot panel. I can turn flight director on, off. I can turn autopilot on, off. Um, here on the left hand side, if I want to change my altitude, I'm going up to 3000 feet at the moment. Let's say I want to increase that to 4000. There we go. Done. And my heading bulk, I'm at 229 degrees at the moment. Let's change that to 239. Done. So if I tap on the radio panel, I've got all my comm settings, my nav settings, my transponder I can reset. Right there, ready to go. I can swap comm channels really, really easily. If I go to ATC, it's my ATC panel, and I can press actually ATC window. You can see open and close on screen. Very handy. If I tap on engine, I can see my, let me show you in the cockpit. I can actually start to reduce um, the throttle. I can start to reduce my mixture. You can see my RPM settings, really handy. So in the fuel panel, let's look on screen. You can see my fuel quantities right there in the middle. I'm going to tap fill tanks, done. Uh, I got a heat and ice. So let me check my pedo settings. My pedo heat is not on. I'm going to tap on here. Done. Well, I think I'd like uh, maybe a bit of cabin lights and a torch. Very handy. Cow flap. Oh my God, again, not so much in this aircraft, but in other aircraft. So I can never find the cow flap. Super handy that it's there. Uh, cockpit camera. So let me see what the cockpit camera is like. I can look left, look right. And the best part about this is it's fully customizable. So for me, face tracking start stop has been a button that I have added in order to allow me very easily enable or disable track IOR, which I use now and then. 
So this is the app I use, Touch Portal, and it involves installing a small little tool in on your PC. Let me open it up for you here, as well as obviously the app on either your Android device or your iOS device. And um, what's really cool about it is that you can actually straight out of the box install any additional plugins that you like. So it's not just flight sim usage, you could have it for OBS, you could have it for Twitch, you could have it for Philips Hue if you wanted to control your lights. So you can really start to program it and set up the buttons to do anything you like and a macro as well, meaning you press a button once and it might do multiple activities. Very, very cool. The app is free, which is great news, can't get more affordable than free, however, that only allows you one page. If you want to have more pages, so you can have one page for flight simming, one page for other things, um, there's a one-off purchase of $12.99. Pretty good. So let me show you a little more about how it works. So if I go to my flight sim page. I can actually change any of these buttons to do whatever I like. So if I show you the face track button that I added, for example, really all this is doing behind the scenes is a keyboard combination. Alt plus open bracket will enable or disable my face tracking. And that's how customizable and simple it is. But there's a ton more you can do here and really go deep into um, it doing multiple different things for you, which is pretty awesome. To make your life even easier, this particular page is available for free and really gets you going right out of the box without much setting up involved. To do so, there's this GitHub link, which is in the description below. Click go to file. And then once you go back into the app, you click on manage and then import page. And it brings this in right away for you. And then you can customize it as you see fit too. If I show you one of my other pages, which I'm playing with at the moment, it doesn't look so good, but I can mute my volume. I can put on my landing lights and all my lights when I'm ready to, to win for landing. I can hibernate my PC. I turn on my lights on or off with this button. I need to make it a bit more pretty, but you can see really how customizable you can make this app. Pretty, pretty awesome. So as I say, it is available for free on Android and iOS with a one-off purchase of around $13 if you wish to add multiple pages. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you found this video useful. Till the next time, take care. So, welcome back. <laughs> uh, big shout out there to Give Ireland. Fantastic preview of the... Uh, well, of this fantastic app, and uh, well, it's free uh, or a very nominal fee if you want to get more options with it. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I'm using it, Gibbo's using it, adds a lot of functionality. Um, and in particular, you can't get the hardware, uh, the likes of the Bravo throttles and stuff. There's just there's a shortage. This works very, very well indeed. I haven't had any issues with it. Uh, and again, you can use it for your autopilot, for your lights, engine controls. Lots of stuff. Uh, so if you guys do like this sort of content, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. It lets us know that, uh, well, it lets us know. <laughs> so until the next time, look after yourselves, take care, and we'll see you soon.